Welcome to Living in Peterborough. I'm Jeff, and uh, today you can see I'm at Milltown Mini Golf. If you know your landmarks in Peterborough, if not, uh, I'm behind uh, Eastside Mario's Swiss Chalet. Uh, this is a Milltown Mini Golf. Now, five years ago, these folks were essentially given notice by the owner of the property that the property uh, was going to be developed and turned into uh, a supermarket. Turned out there were some zoning issues and uh, they had to go to uh, the land planning authority to get permission to uh, build the supermarket. So long story short, some time has passed and each season, not sure if Milltown was going to continue. Uh, and, you know, a lot of families really enjoy coming here and taking advantage of uh, all that Milltown has to offer. I bring you this story today because now the uh, developer, Peter Berardi, has said after five years of process, even though he had a, one of the major three grocery stores ready to, uh, to build here, he's decided um, that, uh, I guess post-COVID and all of that, that uh, he's done with the project and likely going to sell it next year, which means, fingers crossed, Milltown will live for one more season. So exciting news and we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. In the meantime, let's take a look at the weekly numbers. Remember, you can always see these on my website at jeffwhite.ca. Uh, an interesting week here as we edge closer to uh, Christmas. We had uh, 24 new listings, uh, which is kind of keeping pace uh, week after week. We expect this time of year that the numbers will slow down. Uh, we're seeing the number of active listings up uh, to 46 from 41 last week. We had 16 units sold, which is a big decrease from last week at 26. Uh, 14 of those 16 were over ask. Nine of those 14 were 100,000 or more over ask. And the highest over ask in the last week was $201,000 for a house on Trail View in the southeast end down towards the 115. Hey, that's a look at uh, Living in Peterborough this week. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you next week.